folks. Uh, welcome to the briefing on Friday the 7th. What feels like a really, really cold day with a biting westerly wind. Um, it's not coming down from the north. It seems to have clearly had some influence from uh, uh, a northerly factor with these te sort of temperatures. Uh, here's the sort of chart um, for midday, really. And, and this interesting little thing here is, is, is sort of a bit of a guess at the moment on its, its actual positioning, because currently it appears to be developing over to the west of Ireland uh, with, with rain on it there. So actually it could be in reality a bit further um, north. But that's going to come in uh, at some point this afternoon. Isobars, yeah, they're reasonably close together. So 1,000 and 4,000 over, over sort of the north of England and 1,016 over us, so reasonably tightly spaced uh, isobars. So it's certainly going to be a, a bit breezy, but from the west for most of the day. And the TAFs suggest that uh, Farnborough all day, 250, um, 12 knots. Other places sort of saying 260 and 270. So, you know, slight variation. Um, nowhere showing particularly gusty, but I think you might find it sort of gusting around 15, 18 knots um, today. And certainly if we get a few showers a little bit later, that will be the case. Uh, Gatwick, um, slightly longer term forecast there, saying between sort of 50 and 1800, um, 8000 metres rain broken at 1400 feet. So they're showing that rain coming in at, at some point. Uh, upper winds, yeah, 280 westerly, 30 knots. I think that seems to be pretty consistent about the sort of forecast I've looked at. So, yeah, pretty fresh at flying heights. And you can see exactly where the jet stream is laying across here. So, out over Ireland, 115 knot winds at sort of 24,000 feet. And that's driving in um, that rain you'll see in a second on the rainfall radar chart. We've got the little white blobs here are um, areas of rain and sort of small thunderstorm there really that's drifted to the south of us. We've just missed it. It's gone past. Um, and in here it's reasonably clear. A few little white blobs here in the Bristol Channel uh, coming this way. And they are sort of small showers. Hopefully they won't amount to much. If anything, they might just fizzle out. And you can see that's the, the main blob of rain we're about here. It's just skimmed past us. It's going down the south coast now. And here's your little sort of rash of showers that are coming in across here. We might see the odd shower. But what we really are looking at is the rain developing over Ireland here. This little active area of low, which looks like it's going to track across us uh, later this afternoon. It's coming in fairly quickly, as I say, driven in by uh, the strong upper winds. Temperature wise, boy, is it going to, you know, five, five degrees, maybe six degrees out there, but the wind chill is going to make it feel a lot colder than that. Um, so I think it's going to feel pretty much like freezing uh, for most of the day in the wind chill out there. Be pretty cold. Um, and top meteo shows you know, nice and clear this morning. Run it on a few hours, and you can start to see these. These are the showers developing out to the west, um, slowly coming our way. That's two o'clock, three, four o'clock. So, possibility that the afternoon gets wiped out. But we should get something this morning. But strong winds, that's for sure. Uh, their prediction on the rainfall radar. Is that sort of 10 o'clock. Reasonably nice gap. Over us, quite pleasant. And then it slowly starts to build up. As the afternoon goes on and heads towards us. Um, mid to late afternoon. So fingers crossed, reasonable flying day. Um, 
bit breezy, but pretty much down the runway. Uh, uh, and should be pleasant apart from the uh, the wind chill. Okay, so airspace locally to us. Uh, this looks like a, uh, a repeat of the briefing I did on Tuesday. Uh, the only difference between Tuesday and now is that number 17 here, the numbers changed and the hours of operation of uh, Fairford's ATZ is a little bit different. So that's active till uh, mid afternoon. Apart from that, nothing known to affect in this area. Um, it's quite quiet. Uh, operationally, uh, we're going to look at how we're going to operate and then I'll look at jet movements. So operationally, we're going to try because um, I think it's going to be soggy here with the amount of rain we've had in the last sort of 24 hours. So we're going to be operating on a runway only operation um, just for the moment. So launch point will be set up here. Uh, cables, we'll, we'll try them on the south side. First of all, then gliders on the winch just there and the launch point vehicle will be just slightly north of the centre line with the air towing just off the edge of the runway um, on the edge here on the north side. Uh, and landings will be on the runway. So if you circuit to the south, you land on the runway. If you circuit to the north, you land on grass north side. Don't land on the runway because you'll, you'll be mirror circuiting otherwise to the same place. And remember, if you're landing on the runway, either one side or the other, and roll up to about 50 to 100 metres from the launch point. Don't roll any closer. If we're parking gliders up because we're not using them, don't park them behind the launch point. Just park them on the edge, the northern edge of the runway here on the 2-3 intersection. So they're well out of the way uh, for gliders rolling up. And you're not likely to have two gliders hitting each other. Um, I think that's about it, really. Uh, the grass to the north here should be fine. It's going to be a little bit soggy here and, and down in this area here. And we'll just see how it goes. Uh, jet movements. There's a forecast jet movement at one o'clock that I've seen. And also, I'm going to sort of quickly reshare the other movements. This this is for the Navajos. In theory, this is coming in at two o'clock, and then these these ones are departing. So. It could be busy this afternoon with Navajos, but I'm looking at the weather thinking, well, we may well be off the runway and finish flying by uh, by two, three o'clock. So that won't be an issue. But say jet movement, 737 at one o'clock and then the Navajos after that. So that's what's going on today. Uh, I think we can uh, wrap up warm, have a quick coffee and then head out and uh, start pulling the gliders out. We'll go and do some flying and I'll see you out there.